Introducing the Rock Fish Finder 3000. Just kidding. Today we're doing mobile mapping the Rock R3 Pro. It's on a pontoon boat. We're mapping the coastline of this lake. Let's see how it's done. Well, hello there. So today we're here on, where are we at? What's the lake? Jenkinson Lake. Jenkinson, Jenkinson Lake, and we have a pontoon boat. We have some LiDARs, the R3 Pro. What we're going to try doing is going to mount the LiDAR using the mobile mount, usually goes on the car, onto the boat. And the idea is that we're going to drive around the whole perimeter of the lake and map the coastline. Now, we have no idea if this is going to work or not because we've got a boat, we got a mobile mount, we got some R3 Pros. We think it's going to work totally fine, but that's the adventure for today. So let's hop on the boat and figure out how we're going to get these LiDARs mounted up there and then start driving around. Leo's confident. How confident are you, Leo? <laughs> Pretty confident. I'm not so confident. They're, they're, they're confident. I think they're confident. We'll see. There we go. That is the boat. That's the boat we're going to be on today. We're going to see if we can go ahead and map this entire area. Will it work is the question. <laughs> of course it will. Here we have the Rock R3 Pro mounted to the pontoon boat. And by reality, let me tell you about what we did over here. So come on over here a little bit closer. So we have our mobile mount. We took it apart a little bit. Two suction cups there, bringing the R3 Pro mounted on the side of the boat. We put it like this, because it's facing straight out this way. So the laser beams are coming out that way. So we're gonna be able to drive the boat or parallel to the shoreline, while this is perpendicular to the shoreline with laser beams mapping that coastline. Right over here, we have the GPS mounted to the same railing. And honestly, it's pretty solid. So we're not getting independent movement of the two systems. We made sure that this is pretty rigid to this, forming one rigid body. And I think with that, the Rock LiDAR Mapper Boat 3000 is ready to go. Just another day at work at Rock Robotic. <laughs> Not bad. Get back to work. <laughs> We're working. I'm getting paid right now. It's great. <laughs> this is what pays the bills, ladies and gentlemen. Powering up. All right, so we're gonna push up against the shoreline here, and that's where we're gonna start our data acquisition because we wanna be stable, not moving at all. So we're gonna hit here in a couple seconds. This is good, you're doing good. Looks good. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we're gonna do a static observation. So we're on the shoreline, not moving on the boat. And then we're gonna back out, and we're gonna do a straight line, and then a figure eight with the boat, and start mapping the coastline. Looking good? I don't think I could have done that better on my first try, even if I tried. We're launched. Thank you. All right, Hell yeah, brother. We're mapping. We're mapping. We're mobile. We're mapping. We're mobile mapping. <laughs> We're ready. All right, so now we're on the shore. We're actually getting some base, the base station data because what we did is did a little test run. So we didn't want to do the whole coastline before we tested to make sure our boat rig is all successful. So we got Leo here on Rock Desktop and we got the base station over, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. There's the base station. So we got the base station data off. We're going to go ahead and run through Rock Desktop and just verify because honestly, you always want to verify when you're doing something new with technology, definitely any technology. So we're gonna spend the whole day driving around the lake. Let's make sure it works.
Uh, so Leah right now is downloading the production version of Rock Desktop because we have a development version right now on our laptops. Because actually, this, this is the guy that makes the slam algorithms right there. And so, he, of course, we have all of the, the latest and greatest. But we don't need the latest and greatest. We actually need the stable, steady eddy version that we send out to everyone in the world that works for everything. So we're on a boat! We have the front version. So Leo, you're using Rock Desktop on a boat in the middle of the mountains? Mm-hmm. We're refining our lever arm. Important here, because we don't know the lever arm. <laughs> well, you, you taped it. <laughs> All right. Leo, well, yeah, this is your new profile picture. <laughs> you look great right here. Thank you. All right, Leo, look over here and tell me exactly what you're doing, every piece of it. All right, um, we're still refining our lever arm, which is the transform between the body, the IMU, and the GPS, pretty much. Because we just mounted the GPS on this rail, we have no idea, we're just like, so it's the computer is doing the work, which is great. Who, who are the people that made the software? <coughs> we have a great team. <laughs> Lil Leo's one of them. <laughs> we have a, a fantastic team of developers. <laughs> All right, we just got done processing. Now take a look at that data. I can see it. It looks very oh beautiful. My. He was confident for the right reason. I, I didn't expect it, but it looks really good. I'm surprised. Yeah. That's awesome. So it looks good. It works. Can you can it. see the trees. Oh, yeah. You can see the shore. That's from a boat. That's it. That's it. That is the point cloud. Okay, so this is test number one. You can see we did figure eights. Straight there. Ooh. Yeah, zoom into that. This isn't the full point cloud either. This is just the decimated version that you get to see instantly to make sure things are working. And things, it works. Things, things <laughs> are working. Looking good. Looking good. Hey, Blue, how's the, how's the, the chop out there on the lake? Rough. <laughs> He's funny, that CEO. <laughs> okay, so we'll start doing some static. All right, everyone, sit still. No one move for 30 seconds. All right, let's do it. Yep. All right, so we're scanning the dam over there. That's gonna be some pretty damn good data. <laughs> Status update, we've made it around almost the entirety of the lake. We got a little bit more to go. Everything's going good. Just gonna keep boating. All right, there we go. We just finished mapping the entire coastline of this lake with the R3 Pro on the boat. Now, a couple of things before we go back and process data and take a look at it. What did we learn today? One, it was pretty easy to actually mount this onto the boat. Just took the mobile mapping system, suction cupped it here on the side, and then just used some tape, so it really wasn't that hard. Two, we did a demo, a little quick, quick run to make sure everything was good. We processed data on Rock Desktop right here on the boat. So that was like really, really key to be able to do while we're out in the field, check to make sure everything's work. This is a new experimental setup, right? And then three, the battery that we're using, this is the slam battery right here. It only used about 40% of the battery on the entire scan. I think we were going about an hour and a half total on all this stuff. So those are three things that we learned. But the most important thing is, how does that data look? Let's go, we'll start processing data and take a look at it. Okay, well we decided to actually go ahead and process the data because we're gonna barbecue some food over here. But uh, before we even got the grill going, we're already, we're already done. So the data is already, already there. Leo, oh, yeah. how's it look? It looks beautiful. Let's, looks look, at, let's look at this. Got a full leg. Oh, I'm gonna get the ISO. Oh, there you go. Yep. Up. That full is a lake shore. That's a full lake. Oh, the island. Look at that. An hour and a half skin, too. Out on the boat before we're even eating lunch yet. <laughs> already done processing the lake. 
Marina. Sweet. And the dam. That's sweet. Ready to elevate your surveying game? Discover the potential of Rock Robotics R3 Pro LiDAR and processing software by visiting rockrobotic.com. And be sure to check out the data captured in this video by clicking the link in the description below.